In this video, I'm going to show you how to use kind of a form of synthetic division to divide a polynomial by a linear binomial, but whose leading coefficient is not 1. So I have an example here, this polynomial that we saw in the previous video, divided by, huh, well, this is not in the form x minus k, it's 2x plus 5, so my leading coefficient is not 1. So unless I alter a little bit or think about my synthetic division a little bit differently, I'm not going to be able to do this. So I'm going to take for a moment and kind of come up here and talk about division for a second. If I have a number like 42 and I want to divide it by 6, uh, I can do it straight out and just get 7. But maybe 6 is something that's hard to divide by. So maybe I can divide 42 divided by 2 first and get 21 and then divide it by 3 later to get my 7 because 6 is 2 times 3 so I can go ahead and do a series of divisions to get my 7. Well that might seem kind of strange because this is not something that we normally do in math have to take two separate pieces of division but uh, if you'll do this with me here we'll see what it looks like. This is not in the form x minus k but if I factored out this 2, I could make it in the form x minus k. So if I have 2x plus 5, and I factor this 2 out, 2 will be on the outside, then I'll have x plus 5 halves. Well, if I ignore this 2 for a second, this is in the form x minus k, where my k value is negative 5 halves. So let's go ahead and do that. Just ignore that 2. Let's go ahead and use my synthetic division and divide by negative 5 halves. Okay, well what will this look like? Looks like my negative 5 halves is out front. Here's my little division bar here. And then I'm concerned, if you remember, with uh, the coefficients of my dividend quote or dividend uh, polynomial here. So 2, negative 1, negative 17, 1, and 15. Well, let's just work through this division algorithm just like I would ordinarily. So I'll bring down the 2 and multiply. So the 2 up top and the 2 on bottom cancel to make negative 5. So negative 1 and negative 5 makes negative 6. So negative 5 halves times negative 6, the negative and negative is a positive, so it'll be, it looks like it'll be positive 15. Negative 17 plus 15 is negative 2. So again, the negatives cancel, the twos cancel, so we have 5. So 1 and 5 is 6. And f negative 5 halves times 6 is negative 15. So it looks like my remainder is 0. So it came out nicely. So I had x to the fourth divided by a single x. So x cubed, x squared, x is my constant. So I could say 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 2x plus 6 with remainder 0. But what about that 2 that I divided out initially? I kind of divided them out initially and didn't care about them. So let's divide them uh, now. So let's divide every term by 2. And when I do that I'll get x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3. And that will actually be the quotient of that polynomial division. So if you're willing to kind of do something here, maybe do two divisions with this synthetic division, you can divide it by a linear binomial whose leading coefficient is something other than 1. And the idea here is that instead of just dividing by some big number or big thing, we kind of take our thing and, and divide it up. Well, let's see, 6 is 2 times 3. So let's first divide by 2 and then divide by 3. So in our example, to be more specific about that, we were going to divide by 2x plus 5, but instead I broke that 2x plus 5 into 2 and x plus 5 halves. So then I divided first by the x plus 5 halves, then I divided by the 2. So I did kind of a series of divisions and got this for my quotient. 